25 years ago, politicians in Belfast signed the Good Friday Agreement, officially ending more than 30 years of conflict in Northern Ireland. Known as the Troubles, around 3,500 people were killed in violence including bombings and rioting. The prospect of peace and a stable devolved government was met with overwhelming support. Tony Blair, Bertie Ahern and Bill Clinton played a key role in helping hammer out the agreement. It was based on power sharing between mostly Catholic nationalists who favoured independence and Protestant unionists wanting to preserve ties with the UK. But the journey hasn't always been smooth and distrust remains along with continued instances of violence. We are dealing with a divided society. We wish it wasn't, but it is. And, you know, you're go it's going to need tender and open care for, for a long time. The Northern Ireland Assembly at Stormont has been unable to function for 40% of its lifespan due to disagreements between the sides. Most recently, the Executive Committee hasn't met since February 2022, discourse spurred in part by post-Brexit trading arrangements. While not suspended, no major decisions can be made. But, despite many continuing challenges, optimism remains. Whatever the problems in Northern Ireland, what people should never forget, it's a world better from where it was. And if we exercise common sense and realism today, we can keep the peace intact.